Well, welcome back to Kentucky Counter. It is February the 22nd. I've got Harlan and May in the back of the truck. I'm gonna go try to make a couple quick drops and get back to the house. I'm gonna try to get back and watch that Tyson Fury fight tonight. I think it might be some kind of rematch. I didn't get to see the first one. Don't really follow boxing too much. I follow UFC pretty good there though. But I'm gonna get out here and see how fast I can make two trees or one tree or see what happens. I had to park my truck down at somebody's house. The man that owns the property. I can normally drive up in here, but ain't nothing wrong with a little bit of walking. I'm gonna take Harlan up here. Hopefully, he gets struck in pretty quick. I've heard Harlan up this holler here give, well, five barks now. I think I forgot to turn his tracking collar on. Got in such a hurry. I ain't picking him up if I did turn it on. I'm gonna walk up here a little piece and try to stay on top of him in case I didn't turn it on. May's down there barking in the truck. She never does that, but she's back there barking in the truck right in the man's driveway. Let's see if y'all can hear Harlan. He's a bumping a tree right there. I don't know how far I am from him. There he is. I'm gonna let him settle down there for a minute and I'm gonna head into him. He struck on this creek right here. Sounding good, 17 months old now. Mojo Mason and Molly Putt. Let's put the laser on it from this bright eyes fusion. You can also see its eyeball there. Nobody to hold the camera on the coon here while I knock it out, so I'm just gonna set it down here. Hopefully, I can get it to land in front of it. But I'm gonna harvest it on out to him. It's out, boys. Good boy, huh? Good boy. Check this gun safety here. You can't ask for no better than that. 22 years these dogs been producing coon after coon after coon. I'm gonna get him, head on down to the truck and take May somewhere and turn her loose. Good start to the night. Just got May turned loose there. Hopefully we hit two for two. That first one happened pretty quick. Hopefully this one will happen quick. Get back and watch the fight tonight. May is 420 yards up the way I sent her there. She ain't gave a bark yet. I've harvested quite a few coons out of this place. They could be a big possibility there ain't none left. 
Well, May is 538 yards. She's went up a ridge and dropped over the other side. I've had to get my portable long range antenna out. It just hooks to the base of that pathfinder there or garment or whatever you want to use. But I'm gonna tell you, when you lose signal and hook one of these up, they help a lot. I've sold a bunch of them, never had a complaint. They stretch out to four foot there. They're $40. They just hook to the end of whatever tracking device you're using. I know they'll work on these doctors and garments. Uh, I would assume they would work on a sport dog also, but I don't know that for a fact. So. She's 540 yards, picking her up good. Still got signal. May's probably 800 yards now. She's went all the way to the other end of the woods. Not even gave a bark. May not even be a coon here, but I'm gonna get around to the other side of the woods right there. Make sure she don't get, don't get run over. It ain't a very far trip around through there. But I'm gonna hurry. Dogs can easily double back on you. Well, I've got over here to the other side of the road. She's 557 yards. I've had to park and kind of hide in my truck a little bit. I'm headed into her. She is treed. I'll tell you, the ground is absolutely frozen right now. Y'all might be able to hear. I'm trying to hurry. Got my truck parked up on the side of the road. I can see her. Straight up and down, here she is. What you got going on, May? Huh? You see a coon tree? I can't breathe. Let's press on. About to make it. This coon is not on the outside of the tree. I can see the whole tree. It's gotta be on the inside. I'm parked down on the road. I'm gonna get her and get out of here. I wanna thank you guys for watching Kentucky Cooner, where there's a little less talk and a lot more action. For all your hunting supply needs, visit KentuckyCoonerHuntingSupply.com. Until next time, put them on the wood.